one. Oh, that's how you do that. Lock me out of the house. Come on. Look at him. Trying to pee on me. I see how it is. Go pee. Wow. All right. So a couple of you have been asking about my exhaust setup on the truck. And that's kind of what I wanted to touch on today. Um, touch on a couple things, mainly the exhaust. You know, I've been, I've been trying to upload once every couple of days, trying to do every other day. Um, we're, we're really grinding, we're really working hard at it. I'm having a lot of fun. Um, before I jump into the exhaust, I really want to try and branch out and start doing some other stuff. I posted a couple things on Instagram, Instagram today. I've gotten some great feedback. Um, here, let's set this up and see if I can. Cool. Um, I'm really uh, trying to branch out and do some other stuff. I, I used to fish a lot, like a bunch, a bunch. There's a pond near my house I used to go, you know, hit up all the time. And it was super fun trying to fish there because it's nothing but lily pads. And it's something I, I really, you know, I used to enjoy and I just didn't have much time when I was working full time. And now that I'm, you know, back part time doing YouTube, going to school, going to college and stuff like that again, I'm really looking to branch out. You know, there's not a lot of stuff that I'm doing to the truck currently. I'm just really having fun with it. And, you know, just, I'm really, like I said, I, I keep repeating myself, but I'm gonna start branching out. So expect some new stuff, some, you know, just trying different things. Um, fishing, definitely a bunch of Bojangles stuff. I might try like a 24 hour Bojangles challenge or something, that seems pretty cool. But um, we're gonna go over the exhaust real quick. Hopefully this wind isn't too bad out here. I'm gonna just go over the exhaust. Um, spoiler alert, it is really rusty. The exhaust that's on the truck has been on since the truck was bought back in 2014 or 15 or whatever it was. Um, and it is really rusty. I have plans on redoing it, but just bear with me, okay? The fact that I have on Nike shoes with tights and no socks on. I mean, nobody, nobody does that but me. So real quick, just to start with it, when I first got the truck, it had a 40 series flow mat, sorry, a 50 series flow master on it. And that's, you know, you got the two cats in the front of the truck, right when it comes out of the engine, you got the two pipes that come out to the two cats up here and then it comes together again and comes all the way down to that muffler and down out the side. So what it done when the when the truck first got bought before I got to it, it had the two cats in the front to the resonator in the middle. I left that part out and it came back. Then it split off. Sorry, before the split comes, has the 50 series flow master, comes out a little bit more, then splits off to the two tips that you see on the back back here. All right, so these were chrome tips at one point. Obviously, they're getting pretty pretty dirty. I don't clean them like I should, but it does come out to two chrome tips on the back. Then, maybe maybe a year or two after having that, I just I really didn't feel like it was loud enough, so I cut the muffler out of the back, so then it was just the resonator in the middle and the two cats up front, straight pipe back from that. And again, it sounded really good, but that's just it's not the sound that I wanted to go with I really wanted something a little bit louder so then what I did is I'm gonna get under the truck here for a minute we're gonna take a look Ooh. so you have up front you've got your two cats up there right and it comes back and this is where the resonator was or the third cat that people talk about that as you can see has been cut out and then the muffler back there where the Y pipe is here that was cut out where the 50 series flow master was so the pipe came back here your 50 series there and then it came out two pipes from the 50 series now all i have is the two cats up front and then it's just straight pipe all the way back so you can see it it's two pipes that come out of the engine or one i'm not 100 percent sure but they come out to the two cats here they come together they go down and then they split back out now at some point during at some point I would love to go straight pipe from the engine back. So I'd love to go the two straight from the engine, straight all the way back and keep the dual exhaust. I would love that. Uh, keep the two cats, but just from the two cats, instead of coming together here and one straight down, I'd want to keep them separate and come all the way down. Before the intro started was a little more of a cold start this one was not 
I just drove all the way over here. It's about 20, 30 minute drive from where I went to class today, but it's not a bad little sound. Now, a couple of y'all are gonna ask, you know, is it loud when I'm driving? Is it loud at all, really? I mean, it's, it's not terribly loud. While it's idling, you can't really hear anything. It's not when you start hitting the gas, and I'm gonna try and get some clips of that as best as I can, but it's, it's kind of difficult to get without having somebody else to film. But I mean, even from over here, you hear more of the engine than you do the exhaust. But with these newer style trucks, and especially with this one, one of the selling points for the trucks when they were advertising them is how quiet the cabs are. So there's not too much sound that you hear from the truck unless you have the windows down from the cab, which, which I like, which is really nice. It's not stupid loud, but you do get that aggressive sound. When I have had people drive my truck when I'm not in it, like, you know, I had a buddy drive my truck one time for something or let my dad drive it just so I can see what it looks like driving down the road. Um, yes, I've done that because I've wanted to see what my truck looked like. Um, it sounds really good. I mean, it sounds a lot better than I thought, but it's just, you know, I just didn't want to go too crazy with it. Now, the only, I, I know a lot of the people, Carolinas, Alabama, stuff like that, Y'all like to do this, this clapping sound that you like for the exhaust and that's just straight pipe straight back. The only time it pops and it's, I'm not gonna be able to get it on video, that'd be really difficult. The only time it pops is when I really get on it and it doesn't even pop. It's, it's like when it backfires it, you know, you know, just a little bit, it's, it's really hard to explain. It's got this, it's not like a plap plap kind of sound, but it's just a little bit. It's just like once or twice, it's nothing crazy. I mean, I absolutely love it. It sounds amazing. Um, for those of you that are thinking about doing something similar to this, this is a great option if you don't want to go something stupid loud. I mean, I think it sounds really good. I have a rev limiter, but here we'll see. it wants to start clapping but just having those two cats in the front really keeps it from clapping I think maybe even the the connected pipe in the middle might even keep it from doing that but every now and then you let off the gas on you you'll hear the the one or two little doot 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 kind of pop as, as you let off the gas once you're really getting on it but I think it sounds great I appreciate y'all watching hopefully it helped out a couple of you that have been asking me about it um, if y'all have any questions again DM me hit me up I'm always answering people expect more stuff Bojangles, maybe some fishing. We'll see if anybody wants to go. Um, I mean, you know, we're always getting bread. I hope y'all uh, like the new series. Expect more of that because we got we got a bunch of those coming. I've got some awesome vehicles lined up already. If you like the video today, make sure to leave a comment. That's my challenge to you. Leave a comment. Comment even if it's something stupid. I love responding to comments. But I hope everybody has a great day. Let's get this bread.